Okay, so welcome back. So here's the final um, art, part of the article. And so in this, it talks about how originally it was sedimentary and igneous rock that were probably near located near a plate boundary. And um, then it talks about how it was subducted and changed into metamorphic rock. And it doesn't really say here that it was, says it was buried deep inside the earth and covered up by many layers, which means that there was lots of pressure on top of it, which has been talked about in the other portions of the um, article as well. And then as it gets lower, it gets hotter and hotter, right? And so it was exposed to heat and pressure to change it into metamorphic rock because so that's why I put it was transformed into metamorphic rock as it was buried under lots of other layers and um, they moved deep into the earth. The heat and pressure changed it, but over time the layers on top were slowly weathered and that's how it was exposed. So then I wondered too, I wonder what type of rock is underneath the metamorphic rock? What do you think? So obviously you do not have to highlight the same information that I do, but you do have to answer the questions um, that because that's also kind of helping you to understand the passage as well. And so that's why I put some questions this time. And so um, that, uh, is the, the article. And so now I want us to just talk again, uh, let's talk a little bit about the vocabulary words. So metamorphic rock is formed through different processes. It's transformed from igneous and sedimentary rock by heat and pressure deep underground. So um, it's the type of rock formed when heat and pressure deep underground changes existing rock. It doesn't get broken up or melted. It just is changed. And so one characteristic in, is this ribbony like kind of texture, which we talked about how marble has that texture. So limestone has layers in it. They're visible. And when it gets pressure and um, heat, it kind of changes it to look like the, the layers get kind of squished and changed. Um, it's kind of like baking something. So remember that we're investigating this question. So next we're gonna use the rock transformation system to gather some evidence. So how do rock formations move between the surface and Earth's interior. So we're going to, need to be focusing on that and get some more information with the sim. So in the next lesson, you're we're going to investigate rock formations moving in the sim due to plate motion. So we're going to be focusing on that and looking at plate motion. We've talked about it before, but we're going to really focus on it this time. And so thank you for taking time to read the article carefully and make great annotations. Awesome job. I will see you in class this week. I hope you get lots of learning done and work hard. See you in Zooms.